Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newquickbooks.com. So that's our website, newquickbooks.com. So if you want to check it out, uh, this video, should I upgrade QuickBooks Desktop to 2019? Should I upgrade QuickBooks Desktop to 2019? So I get this question a lot. Uh, so I thought uh, I'd uh, do a video on this one. So, uh, you know, if you have 2018, 2017, 2016, or other versions, should I go ahead and upgrade 2019? So QuickBooks will tell you, uh, you know, the software is good for three years. So if you have 2019, I mean, 2018 is good for uh, uh, 2018, 2017, because 2019 just came out. So if you have 2016 or earlier versions, so you know to uh, buy a new one. Uh, but it's all, it's really up to you. Uh, if you just have, if you just do the manual stuff, uh, uh, you know, creating some invoices and using the check register, printing checks and stuff, and you don't use uh, bank feeds, you know, or accept credit cards. Uh, and some other things, uh, then these things will work fine. Uh, I have clients still using 2008, 2008, and that's all they do. They don't do the uh, update to QuickBooks. You know, when you want to update it, you basically go to help and uh, and update QuickBooks desktop. Uh, so basically, you don't update, just use... Uh, whatever you have, then it works fine. So uh, if they really upgrade, uh, come up with a new bank piece, uh, the same way like uh, QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Online, they have pretty good uh, bank feeds. Then I will think about uh, going out and buy a new one right away or, you know, banking. So bank feeds and other things I like to see is the reports, you know, these reports have been there for a long time. So if you come with a really, really great new reports, uh, then, uh, you know, I'll think about uh, uh, upgrading to 2019. So otherwise, you know, if, you, uh, if you're happy with whatever you have, uh, just keep it. Okay, so I'm going to go through your new upgrades, new features. Okay, we'll see. These are the, some of the features. You can see it. Uh, nothing exciting or anything. Okay, so I'm just going to go to uh, list here. Invoice status tracking. It's nice, but uh, uh, you don't want to go and buy a new one just for this one. And transfer credit. This is mainly for uh, if you are doing job cost. Check to pay bills. Uh, and inactive uh, items in inventory reports. If you are using inventory reports, it's, just, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, nice to have this feature. And IIF imports, if you don't know what this IIF imports, so just forget about it, you know, nothing, uh, you know, uh, that important. And the other one is the data file optimization. So uh, is another one, so you may not use it, but, uh, if you are uh, uh, using it, then it's kind of helpful. Okay, the, the one, uh, you can, then you can follow this R, uh, article uh, from QuickBooks. They will give you more details what they added. So I'm going to leave this open. So you can uh, 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 write down the website link. Okay, and the one thing I don't have on this one, which I think it's pretty, uh, uh, pretty nice feature to have. Okay. The one I'm talking about is uh, from File Menu, Utilities, and Move QuickBooks to another computer. You know, so you have uh, bought a new computer and you want to move everything to a new computer. So this will move the QuickBooks program, let's say in this case I have 2019, along with your uh, QuickBooks files, desk your company files. And the one I have is 2019, and it's being uh, this one. This 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 new one is basically uh, it's being rolled out in phases in older uh, versions as well. And I have uh, uh, updated uh, 
all the way from uh, uh, 2019 is the new one. I have 2018, 2017, and 2016. So they all have uh, uh, that features. All you have to do is keep your QuickBooks up to date. Then you will have that uh, even on 2016 now. So that's being rolled out in, in older supported version. So the way it works is basically it is move QuickBooks to another click that one and you have to they will say you have to close all this and uh, okay here we go so basically you know you need old computer this is the old computer and then you want to uh, your new computer connected to the internet yeah, of course you you know you need that and all you need is the flash drive with uh, 261 megabyte of free storage space so this is depends upon the, you know the, your file size too so it's basically you just need a flash drive you know a few days you can buy gigabyte stuff not megabytes so you know you, as long as you have free space that will work fine so basically just say i'm ready and and that's about it on um, this one it's pretty helpful um you don't have to you know uh, download the uh, old old uh, software and, and go through that process I like it okay I'm gonna close this it will close the software as well anyway uh, so basically I was just gonna leave this uh, uh, if you want to see it uh, and so thank you for watching this video uh, I'm gonna show you our website so here is our website it's newquickbooks.com this is our desktop this is for our desktop and if you're into quickbooks online and if you want to check out all the video tutorials and quickbooks online so you can just uh, click this link and if you need to learn more about uh, quickbooks desktop is our video tutorials and so this one is uh, already watched by over 500,000 people so this is very popular so this is about five hour uh, video tutorials I have uh, this is from part 1 through part 10 so you can pick and choose and uh, watch the video tutorials on desktop so anyway I'm gonna leave this open if you want to look at it but visit our website it's newquickbooks.com thank you again uh, bye